great to be back in St. Martin. It's a beautiful place to sail. And when I saw the match race was right the day before our practice on Teton, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go have some fun. I expect a good tough race, and I'm not doing this full time right now, so I'm not like the top of my game either. So I come out here expecting good competition, but it's a fun regatta, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, it's been really interesting sailing. It's uh, in the harbor, very shifty. The boats are quite challenging to sail, and um, there's been upsets galore. And uh, for us, we're two and one right now. We're in the middle of a three race bye where we're relaxing, and then we'll go back and sail four straight races. And so far, it's a tricky day. It's pretty light compared to last year and uh, pretty shifty, so a lot of opportunities if you're behind and uh, a little bit of nerves if you're ahead, but it's good racing. fun match racing because the idea is to get the racing close to the spectators globally that is uh, you get used yes. to sailing in harbors and yeah, yeah, yeah. not the open water that fleet racers cherish so much this no. is sailing close to the bo boats and so yeah. there's lots of random wind shifts and puffs yeah. and lulls and that's part of the game Peter and the, the, the guys who've done a lot of match racing know have in their game book their playbook the ability to use spectator boats and uh, use them as picks, and especially in the pre-start, less so on the open course, but it's, it's all part of the game. Uh, my next race is Peter Eisler, and then after that is Mark Fitzgerald, um, two good sailors, so we'll push hard there, and uh, top two go to the finals, the next two go to the petite finals, so we'll give it our best shot, hopefully we can get into the finals.